Hello and welcome to Infinity. It's useful sometimes to have a mask which works in zones rather than in a simple continuous uh, effect. And uh, we'll do a demo here of how we do that. So Control J. So this is the basic principle. Convert to black and white. Then add the posterize. And this is the basic thing you're doing is you're using the posterize to create zones and you can then use those. However, um, we're going to do, do that. That's only got a limit about control. If I want more control, I'm going to do it another way, which I've done before, which is in a stacked monochrome conversion. So we go from the monochrome to a mask. So what we do is we go to the channels here, right click red, create gray, grayscale layer, Call that R, click on the background, then right click green, create grayscale layer, call that G, then right click blue, grayscale layer, call that B. Okay, and remember to click on the background each time this, so we're getting the right ones here. Now then, we're going to use the histogram to help control this to blend them together going to red and if I click here and click add that adds the red to the green so this is going to start to burn out and I click on green and go to normal and click add that adds them all together again so we need to bring them all back down so the histogram here is not just falling off on the right hand side so we use curves to do that so go to curves and pull down the right here so it puts the red round about here then the green, the face likes green because it's got yellow, the eyes like green. So we'll go to curves there and we'll put that down a bit higher. Still haven't pulled this in again here. So blue, go along to curves here. I'm going to pull this down until the histogram actually starts to appear. There we go. See, we've got space on the edge of it there. So we can put this up here so that it comes in. Then we can go back, adjust some of these as we need to. Now we're going to play around with posterizing it. So going to the red, go to posterize, and we can control this now. And we're looking just because this is just showing red. All right, so that's where that comes in. So with whim, that's about right. In fact, if we turn off the others here, we can see this even more so. So there, this is what's going to be red. So around about there, I think. And if you get your, it's a bit difficult, hover over here and just use your mouse wheel and you can do it one click at a time. Yeah, that's it. So the red is going to be in this area here. Put on the green and put on a posterize here and turn that one on. Now let's look where green goes. And will you create, let the green cover a bit more over towards the cheeks there with a little bit in here. And we'll turn that one off, turn on the next one, which is blue. Add the posterize to that. This is darker because we pull this down more, but we're going to turn this up to so we start to get the face. We'll just use let blue into the right hand side of the face. So because we've got red, green, and blue all in there, that means that's going to get white. So let's put these back on again. And there you go, see, look at the way now. This is the light area, so they get, this is selecting for stronger light over here and turning the light right down across here. So I'm going to click the top one of here, shift click bottom one there, so and then hit control G, so I've got a group now. Uh, this keeps them nice and tidy. I can also put on additional things, so because I'm only interested in the face here, I'd like to get this to go to actual white. So I'll just put an additional curves onto that. And I can pull this up here and I'm just looking at the face as to where that goes. So that's about white that side. That's just fine. I'm not worried at the moment about this. I can play with the mask if I wanted to pull it back in again. But this is the area I have of focus. Now what I'm going to do with that is click on that one. And I could rasterize that to mask, but I'm going to right click here and do merge visible so that I can come back and use that again. I can turn that one off. And this one now, I right click that and I've rasterized a mask there. So I've created a mask from that. Uh, it's invisible at the moment because the bottom one here is turned off. Let's turn that on again. 
and you see what's being effectively selected there. But we can apply this to, a, to an adjustment. So we will go here, let's apply curves. And we're going to drag the curves above here. And the reason for that is we want to put the mask onto the curves. We want to mask the curves, we don't want to mask the background because we want to mask what we're doing here. So we can turn this up until we like it. We've got the zoned effect here, but this, if the edges here are looking a bit rough, when we can apply a blur. So I go to the mask here and I go along to filters, blur, and apply Gaussian blur. And then I can play with that until the edges blue splend out nicely. But look at the effect I've got here. Because this, this, this a, a whole area was selected over there, it's strongly whiter on that side and comes off on this side. So it gives you that particular sort of style, that type of control. Anyway, that's it. So thank you very much for watching.